Hey everybody, it's me Jason Thomas and in this episode of Bug Blitz, we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to do a love bug blitz. It's a nice warm day and I'm out here and there are all sorts of love bugs flying around all over the place, landing on me and my brand new Insect Hunter t-shirt. So we're going to see today how many love bugs we can catch in just 15 minutes. Love bugs are not actually bugs, they're actually a type of fly and they will mate for up to a number of days they can be connected and so with all this love in the air I thought I would put on some romantic music while I turn on my love song playlist here and go out and collect and see how many I can find. Now you're going to think, oh yeah, you made this up, Jason, but literally I just went to go pick up my net and there's already four of them that have just landed onto my net. So that's four more to add to there. And so I'm going to sweep some more here for a minute and we'll see how many more we can find and then I'll come back and empty out uh, back into my cage over there so we can keep track of everything. Before I go out and do some more collecting, I just want to note that this is a good lesson to learn about collecting insects. And I've said it before that collecting insects is a lot like fishing. And the fact is that the weather can really influence the insects that you're trying to collect. So I mean, right now, I'm not seeing hardly any uh, love bugs. But about five or six minutes ago, while I was setting up the camera and trying to get started with the collecting, I probably saw 10, 15 just on my car that were just there. And that was because it was just really, it was really warm and there wasn't a lot of wind, but now it's kind of windy and the clouds are kind of settling in and so it's getting a little bit darker. And so I'm hoping that the weather's gonna change. So I'm gonna kind of wait it out and wait until the weather gets a little bit better to continue collecting. I've been waiting here to try and see if more love bugs will come out. I saw this wasp on my arm and there's something quite interesting about it. If you look underneath the wasp, he actually, I believe, is a parasitoid wasp. And so he's got a cricket or some other creature under there that he's trying to haul back to his nest. I'm not trying to show off my muscles here too much, I'm just trying to show off the wasp. Maybe you can see he's got an insect underneath there. I'm not quite sure what kind of insect he's got. All right, everybody, so the weather has gotten better and we are back in business, as you can see here. We're starting to get quite a few more love bugs. I just got these ones and here's one right here. I just got these ones within the last minute or two and so I'm not even have to, having to go out and look for them. They are coming to me, they're just flying around and so as I see them fly around, I'm just grabbing them in the net, so. So the thing that I'm finding that works best with catching these love bugs is just using either like a wall or using, a, I'm using my little cage over there and whenever they land on it I just keep scooping them up or I'll scoop them up when they land on my car. A lot of people say they're really attracted to cars but I'm not even sure if that's true or not but there are a lot of them just landing on my car but I think that they're landing all over the place. It's just easier to see them when they're landing on a different colored object. They're super easy to notice. So I just come in here, scoop it up. And there's even sort of wasp or moth or something landing on there. And there goes my cage. So there you go, my cage blew away and that's a testament to the fact that it is a windy day today and it's not the best day so I mean if you're in an area with love bugs and you want to catch tons of them I don't really know any reason why you would actually want to collect this many love bugs but maybe you want to use it as a way to show affection to your significant other or something and you give them a ton of love bugs like all these that I have here I guess you could do that I don't think there's really a purpose to this other than just to see how many we can catch and 
show how abundant they are at some time. So our numbers are growing slowly but surely. Look at how many we've found there so far, and we've only gone halfway on our time at this point. So look at all those. Nice. I'm gonna keep them in the net this time. Yeah, look at all these love bugs we're getting. Man, just so many. It's crazy. Okay now, I'm gonna let all you guys go free and be back out in the wild, but you have to promise not to plaster anybody's car and cause any havoc, okay? So here we go, we're gonna let them go and we'll see if they all fly out at once or if they're just gonna slowly take to the skies. I have no clue. There goes a few of them. Go, be free. Be free, love bugs. They grow up so fast. If you guys are looking for your true love, go get some love bugs. And they say that if you blow on a love bug in the middle of the day that you get onto your hand, that you'll be able to find your true love. And so it worked for me, it can work for you. There you go. Thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Uh, make sure and like and subscribe and stay tuned next time for all things insects. I think we should start a new tradition. Whoa! Have the camera blow over on you, that's what you should do.